Welcome to our Five on Five. We'll please be joined by Sabrina McNeil from the Dylan McNeil Foundation. Sabrina, good to see you again. Thank you for having me. All right, so anybody who's, who's watching at home uh, and doesn't know about the Dylan McNeil Foundation, how did you guys get started? The Dylan McNeil Foundation was founded after we lost our son Dylan to bacterial meningitis the day before his second birthday back in 2009. Okay, what were the circumstances of, of him contracting meningitis vaccine? Did he have one? Yes, he had the old vaccine they no longer give. Um, sadly, the type of uh, bacterial strain that he had was not covered by that vaccine. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, now the current vaccine does cover the strain that he had contracted. Okay, and so tell us the, the purpose of the Dylan McNeil Foundation. What are you trying to do through the foundation? Basically, we are trying to raise awareness for meningitis. Um, when Dylan had meningitis, we didn't know it was still a threat to our children. We didn't know, even think that that's what he had when he first became ill. And I think, you know, lots of other parents out there probably don't know that either, that it's still very much a part of our lives. And so we try to inform them of the signs, the symptoms, and how you can prevent it from happening. Okay, now you guys are, are partnering with Dutch Bros this week on Thursday. Tell we us are. what's going on. We are so thankful to Dutch Brothers. This Thursday is World Meningitis Day, and they have partnered with us. Us. So all throughout Jackson County, if you visit Dutch Brothers on Thursday, they will donate a portion of the proceeds to our foundation. Wow. Any any coffee, any, any tea, anything? Coffee, smoothies, anything. Very cool. Okay, yeah. wonderful. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Okay. We'll have much more with Sabrina in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Sabrina McNeil talking about the Dylan McNeil Foundation. So, Sabrina, uh, is it bacterial meningitis we're trying to get the word out about? Yes, it is. Um, you know, sadly, bacterial meningitis, there's no cure for it. And there are research going on in the United States right now that are trying to um, develop maybe a quicker way of detecting the meningitis and also ways to prevent it as far as um, covering all of the strains in a vaccine rather than just a few of them. Sadly, there are 90 strains in the type of bacteria that Dylan had and the current vaccine only has 13. Wow, and, and Dylan was, was almost two when he passed. He was. Um, talking about it, it is a rare you know 90 strains sounds like a lot but it is exceptionally rare is it not it's not too common in this yeah. area sadly there have been many cases across the United States just this past year for mm. instance in Princeton University they had right. a big outbreak this year and so really what we try to do is raise awareness we try to raise money for research and we also try to help out families that have been um, sadly they have been affected by this illness and we mm -hmm. try to do what we can for them financially and for support. Yeah, you yourself, of course, know how heartbreaking and, and difficult that time can be. Um, so again, uh, this Thursday, all Jackson County Dutch Brothers proceeds? All Jackson County Dutch Brothers. Yeah, portion of the proceeds going to the foundation and the work you guys are doing. Yes. Very cool. Sabrina, good to see you again. Thanks Thank so much you. for coming in. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.